it's Christy and I'm here with another box for Operation Christmas Child. This one's for a girl five to nine and this is my checkoff sheet. It really helps me stay organized. If you want some checkoff sheets that you can use for your boy or girl boxes, you can go to blessingsintheshoebox.com and find some that you can use and customize for your own shoe boxes. Okay, here we go. I'm using a plastic Operation Christmas Child box. And you might be amazed at how much I can fit in these guys. It really is a lot bigger than it looks. So this on top is a full-size backpack. It's Ozark Trail from Walmart in their camping section. They're about $5. And here's her full-size spiral notebook. Just slip them down the side and bend it over. It's really great for them to have this for school. And then the, this is what she'll see on the top. So she's got a water bottle and a doll. I'm gonna pull out her doll first. You probably recognize her right away. I put her in the organza bag. It keeps her um, little accessories together with her and it keeps her hair nice. So inside is an Anna doll or Anna doll with her pretty red hair her pretty outfit on the back she has just beautiful um spiral braids whatever those are called and i'm so excited to be able to have her for a box this look at her boots too cute she was given to me along with a couple of other dolls from frozen from Christine McCoy, and I just um, am very thankful to be able to pack these for a girl um, age five to nine. So I'm gonna put her over here in her organza bag. She has a pair of sunglasses and two purses that she can accessorize with. Okay, she has her, some of her school items are scattered throughout the box. So here's her glue stick. She also has this bead kit, which is great for a girl this age, five to nine boxes, where you can start making little crafts. This is her stuffed Beanie Baby toy that is in here. I just love it for this box. I feel like it coordinates really well and it gives her a plush toy to play with. She has a nice jump rope that's pink. And here's a wooden spoon for her to use in the kitchen. And two toothbrushes with covers. Her hygiene items are all mixed in here with the rest of her toys. And I'm gonna take this water bottle, which we like to include in all of our boxes, some type of water bottle or cup, because a lot of children won't have easy access to water and they can need it something to carry it in she has it right on top of her you can put a lot of things in the water bottle wait until you see she has an anna doll which will be nice for her to clip onto her backpack if she wants she has an eraser ring which will be fun to play with and a sparkly barrette clip in her water bottle here's a big pink eraser and a shaped decorative duck pencil sharpener. She has this scrunchy, these scrunchy sets that you can get in bulk from Amazon are really soft and nice. I really like how little room they take up, but they give a, a really nice, sometimes I think I, this is the scrunchy with the velvet has been the only soft item I've been able to get into the box and I really feel good about it because it's really nice and soft. She has socks here. I didn't have a pair of flip-flops in this age range, um, so I'm happy that I was able to put in some socks for it to protect her feet. And a couple of pairs of underwear, just put a rubber band on them so they stay small, white and striped. And then this is her dress. And this is also from Christine McCoy, and I just love it. Butterflies are such a symbol of a renewal, a new creation. I just, um, I love it for this box. It's size seven, eight, which is perfect for this age range. Is that when you're buying clothing items, you wanna get them at the top of the age range. So this is perfect, it's a seven, eight, and I love it, butterflies. 
Um, she has a spiky ball and a bouncy ball in her box. She has one of these wooden heirloom combs. These sets are available on Amazon. I just love them. And she also has a little Olaf key ring, which she can also hang on her backpack or any use it for anything else. Here's her purple handled scissors. And this, do you know what this is? It's another kind of jump rope. I used to play this. They call it um, stringy majiggy, but I used to call it Chinese jump rope. And on the back, it has the directions. That's why I didn't take it out of the packaging. And then I just folded it up like this so that it took up just a little bit of room. And I think that's another fun item um, that the little girl can play with her friends. Then she has this hygiene kit with the nail brush, the nail files, the nail clippers, and cuticle stick. And here's her uh, compact. A lot of girls um, or children have never seen themselves in a mirror. So that's fun to send. And then this organza bag has a necklace, a bow, and uh, bracelets. So her bow is purple and it's on a clip and her necklace is multicolored. We had fun making those. It's a one of a kind and it's an elephant. So we all love, or at least I do, who doesn't love elephants? And her two bracelets are in here. These I bought at Hobby Lobby in a set, a bigger set. So they're just multi, multicolored stretchy bracelets. And then her set of crayons. And for perhaps to shape her into a future musician, she has a harmonica in her box. I love that it has a case and it's a gold. And hopefully she will love learning how to play it. Here's a, this is a puzzle puzzle activity from Dollar Tree. This puzzle, I cut it out of the box. I cut the picture and then I put it in this drawstring bag and she can uh, play with that activity. Also with a friend, probably. Here's her pencil pouch with eight pencils. And let's see, this is a Sharpie, a highlighter, a multi-pen, a black pen, two pencil sharpeners and two pencil top erasers. Here is her coloring book that she'll be able to use with her crayons. I love that it has a butterfly in the front. It has all kinds of beautiful pictures. Of course, I love horses, so I'm glad it has a horse picture. More than one and a fox. You can um, print these off uh, if you want to on blessingsandissuebox.com on the printables page. There are many different coloring books and activity books there for you to print off for free. Here is the how to draw book that I've included in this shoe box. And right away it starts out with how to draw horses. I am partial to horses and when I was a little girl I learned how to draw horses and it's the only thing I can draw. But I still love drawing horses. So that is a nice booklet to include. All of these flat things on the bottom of the box help save room if you can put all the flat things on the bottom. Here's just, this is just blank paper I stapled together so that she would have a place to learn to draw. And then here is her um, nice soft washcloth, her tubular bandana with a muskox on it, purple, and a burgundy bandana. So that brings us to the end of this box. I'm praying that the Lord will bless all of us and give us endurance to reach the goal of sending many shoe boxes, as many shoe boxes and fillers as we personally can, as we possibly can, personally, me, you, we are not guaranteed another year of OCC. We just don't know what's going to happen in this world. It's a lot of strange things are happening and the Lord may return soon or borders may close or all of our, um, 
purchase items that we're purchasing may stop coming or stop being available. We don't know. So I am encouraging myself, Michelle, uh, everyone I know that's making shoe boxes to make as many gospel opportunities as possible so that the children will know about the Lord Jesus Christ and receive him as their savior. Thank you for watching everybody. Bye for now.